Hey everyone, I hope that you are doing well. I'm just jumping here to check the energy. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for being a part of this uh, channel. Those of you who are in the upright and those of you who are striving to fix things in your life, thank you for being that way in the earth. Uh, I just appreciate you all so very much. If you are brand new to this channel, my name is Shannon and I'm, I'm glad to meet you. A lot of times I'm looking at criminal activity. I'm, I'm focusing on it. Um, it's just part of my calling. Can't get away with it and from it for anything at all um you know can't get away with it as far as you know trying to get away from it it just uh when i do love situations on and i don't do a whole lot of love and romance it's just like i can't, I can't help it it's there it just uh comes out in a very big way criminal stuff and it just is what it is so you you might you know hear some things and you will at times hear some things on this channel that will be disturbing to you um you know we're dealing with criminal things and law and things like that then you know we do hear stuff um that's you know not not very nice as, at times and, and so we need to look in the mirror and i just try to encourage people to just look in the mirror man and just fix it however far you fell down if you're willing to hear and to change something great i celebrate you for doing that i'm not a churchy channel or anything but the scriptures found in the tarot so you will get it here i love you hold elohim maker of heaven and earth people call him the universe but i call him by a scriptural name because he tells us what his name is he's got many names about him but he does tell us my name forever is yulva and so i tell you and show you what his name actually looks like in the tarot there's a video down way below in the description box so Anyway, uh, this is kind of who I am. I just speak by truth and seek truth, and we just do a spiritual work here. So if you stay great, if you don't, then thanks for checking me out. Let's go ahead and get in here. If it was your birthday or anniversary, I hope it's been fantastic or will be. Uh, I don't know when you're catching this video, but uh, I wish you well. Yehovah, I just appreciate you so very much. Yehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy and shove it down to the pit. Boy, something's just really just jumping out here. We have the empresses here, the... Um, judgment is here and the nine of wands is here it's huge i mean if somebody's making a judgment on something and being generous and kind and loving and caring and it's been freaking a battle here then somebody's is is or has been wounded in something something's you know come back around for a judgment then something's here somebody's been trampled on in a very big way uh in a very big way um so something's, you know, taken place where something was carried off or moved. And then we know that the Empress in the Hebraic language is the Gimel. And it represents the pictograph of the leg and it represents to move or to carry something off or something like that. Something has been out here. She's rich and generous if she's in the upright. Um, she's mother figure. Obviously, if you're dealing with family matters, then she's, she's here. She's beautiful. This could be the head of something as well. If they're dealing with the female boss, the letter Resh in the Hebrew, uh, is here. The head, the man, the boss, the chief of something. Um, or there's a specific gentleman involved with the empress, but that would be the emperor. Um, parental things then would be out here. Uh, this is the letter R, the G, and the L is here. Um, somebody's a player, then somebody was a lover somewhere and played somebody. Something's been very oppressive around that ordeal, or this is a heavy, quick departure after a real heavy, oppressive thing. We got ten wands, that's oppression, okay? Something was hid down here for a long time, and now somebody's blowing something up and putting a judgment on something so something can depart. Uh, then there you go. Then something's real quick, then coming in. Real fast communication, real fast travel. Um, obviously, Cupid's arrows, if they're there was a lover around something then i guess so people i guess that's what it's showing let's take some rider weight and see what's going on the empress also came out this morning we had the sun and stuff come out and so you know we also had it going the other way if you are new i hit energies both ways because some people are in the upright and some people aren't some people uh, weren't and they are trying to become that way and i would encourage that and thank you for being that way like i said and some people won't because they're too prideful or hey look at me if you're dealing with somebody who's just it, you know the, the empress represents somebody in the public eye somebody who's known especially somebody's uh, way Waking up to something here with the judgment people coming awake. Uh, some people are just too prideful. I can't do that because of, of who I am or something like that. So, But there's obviously been a war here and somebody, somebody was played somewhere. This is in and out quick stuff here with the night which we did see um, through today's date in the element reading. Show me this empress please Jehovah. 
All right, we have the hangman coming out here. So, you know, this is the La Mead. I already stated the letter L because the pictograph looks like the L, but in the Hebraic language, it is the La Mead. Uh, it looks like the J, so the J would be here as well in the pictograph with the hangman. And this is, you know, somebody trying to figure out from every angle how to put a judgment on something, how to blow something up that's been hidden because there's been some type of a playing stupidness that's been here that's been very oppressive obviously some people are dealing with somebody who's crazy and they've just been hanging around hanging around hanging around hanging around won't let something go won't let them go won't let it and that's it's devastating over here if it's been oppressive because you did deal with somebody who just thinks that they can just do whatever they want and uh, it's tongue blood trumpet on some stupid if you are dealing with legal matters we have fbi with this house we have this meaning the um uh, the prison card and it did come out through today's date and then the empress would represent law as well we have empires with her so this empress is showing up you know some type of psychedelic energy around her or she is that or it's this you know crazy thing that's taking place with um somebody who's a player or just real quick and hasty within something where somebody went what they did some somebody got wounded within something and so be it. we also have child sacrificing out here and that can go to that as well um we have leaving trouble waters behind okay again if somebody's putting a judgment on something so something can travel forward then that's positive then the empress would be that energy around some ordeal somebody really looked from every angle what to do within something that's caused somebody to be able to leave trouble waters behind because somebody is going to put a right judgment she would hold the truth within her she's in the upright man uh somebody's been in their head and, and it's just stupidness the nine of swords is i'm up in my head in my bed because people think that they can play you uh show me the judgment you hold up this somebody coming back around man somebody you know created something believes what has been created is here and somebody's going to be able to leave trouble waters behind especially if they've, they've caused something to move forward with this judgment yeah is somebody going to turn around take the cups and depart something that's been just real passionate around some situation then so be it otherwise you know somebody's psychedelic and crazy and they are going to go to jail we're still seeing somebody leave trouble waters behind this is stormy waters and this is leaving those stormy waters behind somebody's got two cups here then by god they'll take two cups and you'll forgive or somebody's going to be cloaked in stupidness and i guess that's just how you live i guess um we have another night here that can be a law card as well this is dreamy type of energy real uh fair somebody trying to be fair that's what that card represents show me this night somebody's you know somebody's also sat here and uh you know being fair to cause something uh to be taken here with these cups so that you feel fulfilled within something so that you can move forward and somebody's just being fair in a situation that is here so that's nice it's nice to see that man um the judgment so it's the judgment on the player then i guess the judgment is on the player we have r and r rest and relaxation is also here needed because something's been very stormy we have the king of cups well the king of cups if he's in the upright he's lovely energy okay he's uh very intelligent with his with his uh cup and he would love hard and he would be intelligent when to pour it out when to take it in uh, we have two knights here and the empress and a king. So we got people showing up here than we do. People waking up to something. Uh, if the king of cups is also in the negative. He is very much intelligent in the way he manipulates something. Um, we have the letter B. So we have a bear here <laughs> or a robber was here. Somebody was in and out. Somebody got robbed. That energy um, in the Hebrew, that, that word can go back to a master of some sort. We have the head of something here as well. Somebody got robbed within something and they did. And there's some type of big time judgment here. It's caused some type of bitterness within some stormy waters. This goes back to fertility and projects. And she also represents projects and somebody robbed somebody of their projects and they, they freaking did. Um, and so some people are at the level of, you know, going to jail for 
that stupidness. Um, this goes back to pregnancy and children. The empress is here. So some type of pregnancy was here within this. So we have the letter B. The R is out here a couple times. R and B. Okay. There is also a, um, a stringed instrument down here. A harp is here. And so we know we have music. This is writing and music and poetry and stuff like that. So that energy would be here. We are seeing also um, horns being played. So we could bring that in here. And I will. <laughs> Jehovah, I just thank you for the truth, the whole truth, and the truth. And actually, that card came out that they stole your work and called it their own, and they don't get to do that. They don't get to do that. That's unethical for anybody to do that. Why God, they'd have a cow if they created something and somebody robbed you know, them a project. They would ha absolutely vomit and just do whatever, and that's a, that's a bunch of crap, man. Um, somebody's best friend was involved in something. We had the two dogs that showed up today and the rune that represent represented friendships. So if somebody's friend got in the way of something, I guess they did. Or somebody's being a friend, then that's great. Some type of a running and dancing and leaping type of energy. Well, if somebody's getting a judgment and being able to leave trouble waters behind, that's something to dance about. That's something to leap about. Um, so if you are dealing with somebody who is running, then that's here as well. Um, somebody says, you really hurt me, but I forgive you. And it's truthful. And that's great. It should be that way, people. Thank you for being that way. Uh, an eye center is also here involved in some type of wild card gambler and something that has been unpredictable in some type of factor that's went on. Well, when the trumpet's blown, it's just like, oh my gosh, something's, it's like an alarm going off here. Okay. Um, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. Well, somebody's been humility in humility. And um, obviously something's happened. There's been a war here. There's been haughtiness. There's been some stupidness that's gone on. So we got tears. Did I already show the tears? Did it come out twice? Or did I not just put it down? Okay, well, we have tears here. We have crying. Um, freedom is here. Well, thank you, Yehovah. Some type of celebrity energy is here in this reading. We also have some type of a rolling around and dancing in a circle. We have dancing out here as well. Okay, so something's happened where somebody was leaping around, dancing, running around, something. That's here twice. Uh, then something's happened. Somebody got trampled on within something because the word out here is a rug. And I want to say that word is a trampling uh, on somebody or something or something like that. Or somebody was used, used that way. Then I guess so. As a jewel. And as a jewel of gold in a swine's snout. So is a fair woman, which is without discretion. So if this empress is in the negative and she's just cute, Jehovah's calling her just a cute person. Is, is she? He's comparing her as somebody who's just a freaking pig. All you are has got some real pretty jewel in your nose, but you don't have no discretion. There's something's taking place. And if some people made a mistake and that's how you were, and you're going to make something right, then by God, great. That Otherwise, if some people won't do it, there's, there's crazy energy out here and if it went that far and somebody was you know died because this is the eighth house and now something's coming awake because we do know that there was blood guilty stupidness that came out in the fixed sign readings then there's jail for somebody and we do know that to be the case i want to see um extra energies you'll hold uh, in the now what's hidden that we need to be aware of What's hidden that we need to be aware of? Thank you. Okay, so there's some type of a celebration here. Again, if we have some type of nice energy and there's going to be freedom and uh, somebody's finally going to get their justice to something and um, there's leaping and dancing and stuff like that or something happened around some type of a celebration like that, then that's here. We do have the conversation card. And so if this is prison for somebody here with this hangman, then we got law with the empress and uh, this FBI, then, you know, with the eighth house, then we have a judgment. This is a final verdict to something. We also have the house. The house is your residence. You know, your family could be here. Your inheritance is, is here with the house. Uh, we have home security. This also can represent your soul or just the self itself. You know, it also has a meaning of projects. So then we have, you know, three things out here about projects and things. And we know about that stuff. At the bottom of the deck is that there was a death for some people. This is a widow. Okay, it could go either way. You can make it a widow or a widower. There's just some type of a death here. We do have the empress is also here. 
Um, so if she represents an older person and a, and a widow, then that was here. This is um, also feeling lonely and just, uh, you know, I've been isolated and I'm in pain. And so something's happened. You know, something's happened here with some type of a death. And somebody's now putting some type of a judgment on something. And, and you know, my God, you hurt me, but I'm going to forgive and let something go. Then that's great, man. That is the way to go. So what's hidden and coming to the surface is something about your home, something about your family. A judgment is here and some celebration. That's positive. Three more cards, Jehovah. The enemy card is here. Well, there has been an enemy or something about the mountains could be here as well. There's been blockages and, you know, things like that with that's been challenging to get through something that's been heartbreaking, especially if this is a, you know, a family situation. And it is because we had a card that came out that said your family has been involved and it's not been good. Um, the fish, well, that's money, that's overindulging energy as well, you know, and um, that's excess, that somebody traded something with that card, the letter K is here as well. Um, we have the door or the key or behind closed door, man, how, how many, how many readings now have I done with this King of Cups and something about the doors are coming out? There was a secret there, there's a spiritual person here tapping into your intuition with the high priestess is also there underneath that King of Cups. Um, but the door and insight to something, the threshold behind closed doors is here. Okay, something happened. And then a specific gentleman is showing up. So whatever this King of Cups is, this is somebody's father, this is a partner of some kind, this is a friend. Uh, again, we had friends coming out. The letter A is here. Um, if I ran the A and the B together, Abba is here. Okay, so a father figure is here in this reading. Uh, this could also represent a younger person as well. Since the um, high priestess is underneath the king of cups, she represents the letter um, bet, which is the letter B. And we have the B here, the BB in somebody's eye. We have an eye center out here in wording. So somebody had some type of a eyewitness to something. There's been a judgment here about something that went on behind closed doors or the threshold somewhere. And there's been an enemy and something has been very sacrificial around some ordeal there's a judgment here we got three judgment cards then would be here as well okay and it is time for something to come down it really is and uh, something you know is uh, being knocked down from the heavens is normally the tower will go back into the uh, tar tarot as a jolt or something it's also represents the in, in the tarot if you're new and you've never noticed it before some of the tarot cards will have an eyeball at the top of the tower because um, it is the letter ein in the pictograph so we have eye center we have the BB the eye came out somebody's got some eyewitnesses something especially if you're dealing with the you know uh, prison and stuff like that because it is here otherwise this is government we have empowers here with that as well we also have fbi that take you back to government and stuff like that this is known information this is altering something here as well um this is a you know discerning something but it is also a protection card as well and um, maybe this is big ben you could be from over that uh, in that area as well i'm not sure the letter a would be there as well again so a a we did have somebody who was a heavy drinker involved in something as well this goes back to um um uh, uh, you know uh, ex excess if i can talk excess just in itself and so we do have the aa coming out remember we also had something about somebody possibly shooting up in their arm as well we also have aka somebody did go by another name especially if somebody was undercovered somewhere now there's a judgment on something then great um there's tears here because obviously there's been death around something but there is some type of a final verdict about something so somebody can be able to turn around and take some type of cups and at least start their healing process and then so be it we have one two three four and even this can go back to that's water as well five um one two three four five water cards are out here something's very much emotional in a very big way but it's time for something to be judged so that something can uh, move forward for somebody so anyway people i was just checking the energy i hope that you are enjoying your day if you are um interested in a reading all the information is down below and i would love to contact um you and and uh read for you and just connect being a part of this channel i have thoroughly enjoyed speaking and meeting uh, some of you already and I send you all love and light thank you very much shalom